This page is about the Battle of Kosovo of 1389. For other battles, see Battle of Kosovo. For the 1989 film depicting the battle, see Battle of Kosovo. The Battle of Kosovo, also known as the Battle of Kosovo Field, took place on St. Vitus Day, June 15, 1389, between the army led by Serbian Prince Lazar Belgenovia and the invading army of the Ottoman Empire under the leadership of Sultan Muradi. The army under Prince Lazar consisted of his own troops, a contingent led by Serbian nobleman Vuk Brunkovia, and a contingent sent from Bosnia by King Tvr Tk01, commanded by Vlatko Vukovia. Prince Lazar was the ruler of Moravian Serbia, and the most powerful among the Serbian regional lords of the time, while Vuk Brunkovia ruled a part of Kosovo and other areas recognizing Lazar as his overlord. The Battle of Kosovo took place in the Kosovo Palje, about five kilometers northwest of modern-day Pristina. Reliable historical accounts of the battle are scarce. However, a critical comparison with historically contemporaneous battles enables reliable reconstruction. The bulk of both armies were wiped out in the battle. Both Lazar and Murad lost their lives in it. Although Ottomans managed to annihilate the Serbian army, they also suffered high casualties which delayed their progress. Serbs were left with too few men to effectively defend their lands, while the Turks had many more troops in the east. Consequently, one after the other, the Serbian principalities that were not already Ottoman vassals became so in the following years. The Battle of Kosovo is particularly important to Serbian history, tradition, and national identity. Background: Emperor Stefan Euro IV Duan the Mighty was succeeded by his son Stefan Euro V whose reign was characterized by decline of central power and rise of numerous virtually independent principalities. This period is known as the fall of the Serbian Empire. Euro the Weak was not able to sustain the great empire created by his father nor to repulse the foreign threats and failed to limit the independence of the nobles. Euro of e died childless on December 4, 1371, after much of the Serbian nobility had been destroyed by the Turks in the Battle of Maritza earlier that year. Prince Lazar, ruler of Moravian Serbia, aware of the Ottoman threat, began diplomatic and military preparations for a campaign against the Ottomans. Preparations, Army Movement, after the defeat of the Ottomans at Plonik and by Lea, Muradi, the reigning Ottoman Sultan, moved his troops from Philippopolis in the spring of 1388 to Ritaman. From there, the party travelled across Velbua three quarters d and Kritovo. Though longer than the alternative route through Sofia and the near Ava Valley, this route led the Ottoman party to Kosovo, one of the most important crossroads in the Balkans. From Kosovo, Murad's party could attack the lands of either Lazar of Serbia or Vuk Brunkovia. Having stayed in Kritovo for a time, Murad and his troops marched through Kamanovo, Prievo and Kandjelane to Pristina, where he arrived on June 14. While there is less information about Lazar's preparations, he gathered his troops near Nia, on the right bank of the South Morava River. His party likely remained there until he learned that Murad had moved to Velbua three quarters d, whereupon he moved across Prokoplje to Kosovo. This was the best place Lazar could choose as a battlefield as it gave him control of all the routes that Murad could take. Army Composition Murad's army numbered from 27,000 to 40,000 fighters. These 40,000 included no more than 2,000 janissaries, 2,500 of Murad's cavalry guard, 6,000 sipiers, 20,000 azaps and akinsis, and 8,000 troops from his vassals. Marco and Dregoa, although Ottoman vassals, did not participate in the battle. Lazar's army numbered from 12,000 to 30,000. Out of approximately 30,000 fighters present, 12,000 to 15,000 were under Lazar's command, with 5,000 to 10,000 under Vuk Brankovia, a Serbian nobleman from Kosovo, and just as many under nobleman Vlatko Vukovia. The latter troops were sent by Bosnian King Tvr Tkoi Kot Romania. Mixed with Vukovia's army was a contingent of knights hospitalers, whom the Croatian knight John of Polisna had led from Vrna. Several thousand were knights. Furthermore, there has been several anachronistical accounts which have mentioned that the Christian army of Lazar was far greater, 
and that it also included contingents of other nations, although these cannot be verified. Battle, troop deployment. The armies met at Kosovo Field. Murad headed the Ottoman army, with his sons Bayezid on his right and Yakub on his left. Around 1,000 archers were in the front line in the wings, backed up by Azap and Arkinchi. In the front center were Janissaries, behind whom was Murad, surrounded by his cavalry guard. Finally, the supply train at the rear was guarded by a small number of troops. One of the Ottoman commanders was Pasha Iiii Bey. The Serbian army had Prince Lazar at its center, Buck on the right and Vlatko on the left. At the front of the Serbian army were the heavy cavalry and archer cavalry on the flanks, with the infantry to the rear. While parallel, the dispositions of the armies were not symmetrical, as the Serbian center had a broader front than the Ottoman center. Start, Serbian and Turkish accounts of the battle differ, making it difficult to reconstruct the course of events. It is believed that the battle commenced with Ottoman archers shooting at Serbian cavalry, who then made ready for the attack. After positioning in a V-shaped formation, the Serbian cavalry managed to break through the Ottoman left wing, but were not as successful against the center and the right wing. Ottoman counterattack, the Serbs had the initial advantage after their first charge, which significantly damaged the Turkish wing commanded by Yakub Kelbay. When the night's charge was finished, light Ottoman cavalry and light infantry counterattacked and the Serbian heavy armor became a disadvantage. In the center, Serbian fighters managed to push back Ottoman forces, except for Beozid's wing, which barely held off the forces commanded by Vlatko Vukovia. Vukovia thus inflicted disproportionately heavy losses on the Turks. The Ottomans, in a ferocious counterattack led by Beozid, pushed the Serbian forces back and then prevailed later in the day, routing the Serbian infantry. Both flanks still held with Vukovia S drifting toward the center to compensate for the heavy losses inflicted on the Serbian infantry. Historic facts say that Vuk Brankovia had seen that there was no hope for victory, and fled to save as many men as he could. He fled after Laza was captured, but in songs, it is said that he betrayed Laza, and left him to death in middle of battle rather than after Laza was captured and the center massacred. Sometime after Brankovia S retreat from the battle, the remaining Bosnian and Serb forces yielded the field, believing that a victory was no longer possible. Murad's death. As the battle turned against the Serbs, it is said that one of their knights, who later was identified as Milo Obilia, pretended to have deserted to the Ottoman forces. When brought before Murad, Obilia pulled out a hidden dagger and killed the Sultan by slashing him, upon which the Sultan's bodyguards immediately killed him. The earliest preserved record, a letter from the Florentine Senate to King Tvrtko I of Bosnia dated October 20, 1389, says that Murad was killed during the battle. The killer is not named, but it was one of twelve Serbian noblemen who managed to break through the Ottoman lines. Fortunate, most fortunate are those hands of the twelve loyal lords who, having opened their way with the sword and having penetrated the enemy lines and a circle of chained camels, heroically reached the tent of Murat himself. Fortunate above all is that one who so forcefully killed such a strong Vovoda by stabbing him with a sword in the throat and belly. And blessed are all those who gave their lives and blood through the glorious manner of martyrdom as victims of the dead leader over his ugly corpse. Another Italian account, Mignanelli's 1416 work, asserted that it was Lazar who killed the Ottoman Sultan. Succession to the Ottoman throne, Murad's son, Beozid was informed of the Sultan's death before his younger brother Yakub. Beozid sent Yakub a false message, stating that their father had some new orders for them. When Yakub arrived, he was strangled to death, leaving Beozid as the sole heir to the Ottoman throne. Aftermath and Legacy The bulk of both armies were wiped out in the battle. Both Lazar and Murad lost their lives, and the remnants of their armies eventually retreated from the battlefield. The Serbs were left with too few men to defend their lands effectively, while the Turks had many more troops in the east. Consequently, the Serbian principalities that were not already Ottoman vassals, one after the other became so in the following years. Furthermore, in response to Ottoman pressure, some Serbian noblemen wed their daughters, including the daughter of Prince Lazar, to Beozid. 
In the wake of these marriages, Stefan Lazarevia became a loyal ally of Beazid, going on to contribute significant forces to many of Beazid's future military engagements, including the Battle of Nicopolis. Eventually, the Serbian despotate would, on numerous occasions, attempt to defeat the Ottomans in conjunction with the Hungarians until its final defeat in 1459 and again in 1540. The Battle of Kosovo came to be seen as a symbol of Serbian patriotism and desire for independence in the 19th century rise of nationalism under Ottoman rule, including the Kosovo curse, and its significance for Serbian nationalism returned to prominence during the breakup of Yugoslavia and the Kosovo War when Slobodan Milojevic invoked it during a speech at Gazimstan. See also Battle of Kosovo, Gazimstan, Kosovo curse, notes. References Sources, Kosovska Bitka. Vodja Encyclopedija. Belgrade, Vodjois de Vaki Zavod JNA. 1972A, uh, John V. A. Fine. John Van Antwerp Fine. The Late Medieval Balkans, a critical survey from the late 12th century to the Ottoman conquest. University of Michigan Press. ISBN A 0 472 08260 4. Emmett. Thomas Allon. The Battle of Kosovo, Early Reports of Victory and Defeat at the Wayback Machine. Kosovo, Legacy of a Medieval Battle. Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press. ISBN 9789992287552, Settler, Jean W. East Central Europe in the Middle Ages, 1000-1500. University of Washington Press. PA 244. Nearly the entire Christian fighting force had been present at Kosovo, while the Ottomans retained numerous reserves in Anatolia. A. Cox, John K. The History of Serbia. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN A 978-0-313-31290-8. Cowley, Robert. Jeffrey Parker. The Reader's Companion to Military History. Horton Mifflin Books. PA 249. On June 28, 1389, an Ottoman army of between 30,000 and 40,000 under the command of Sultan Muradi defeated an army of Balkan allies numbering 25,000 to 30,000 under the command of Prince Lazar of Serbia at Kosovo Pulje in the Central Balkans. A. Uh, further reading, Nikola Kusovac. Kosovska Bitka. Mit, Legenda i Svonost. Literar, Raid Mihelja Ear. The Battle of Kosovo in History and in Popular Tradition. Beograd Skyis Deva Kografia Ki Zavoda, Emmet, Thomas A., Serbian Golgotha, Kosovo, 1389, New York, Columbia University Presser, External Links, The Battle of Kosovo Serbian Epic Poems edited by Charles Simic, The Legend of Kosovo. Battle of Kosovo Animated Battle Map by Jonathan Webb, Battle of Kosovo. Medieval Times History 2011. Archived from the original on January 3, 2011. Retrieved February 6, 2011. A.